So I freaking love science, and you probably freaking love science too. Science brought us computers, which brought us YouTube, and science brought us sugar that has no calories, and science brought us Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> the ring lights that you put on your phone to make your selfies look amazing. Science brought us chocolate chip cookies that have no gluten in them. How? Science brought us, like, no polio. Science brought us air travel, which brought me to America, sucked in America, hopefully an end to climate change. Science also brought us broccoli and sweet potatoes, which didn't exist in that natural world. And like really juicy peaches and apples and stuff. But science has a big problem. It's broken. Science thinks it's kind of a big deal because of its academic -y journals and like books and stuff kind of a big deal. But whilst that used to work in the good old days when only certain people could publish stuff, in today's digital world anyone can publish stuff. Do you have a paper that you want published in the National Journal of Biological Sciences? You can! You can have that published because I own that journal. I just went online to hover.com and I registered NatJBS and now I have a journal that sounds totally legit. So you can see the problem here. There's more journals than ever before spawning at a frighteningly fast rate. These online journals don't have a readership, so they've done away with things like peer review and even reading the papers that it publishes, and they'll just publish anything. The way they make their money is by charging a publication fee to the authors. Now, you might ask, who would pay actual real money to get their papers published in a shitty journal when they could just get published in a legit paper for free? Well, here's the point. Scientists need to get published in order to get promoted. And since it's really, really, really hard to get a paper published, publishing in these journals for the low, low price of $799 seems like an awesome idea. That's how a paper titled Get Me Off Your Fucking Email List was accepted in the International Journal of Advanced Computer Technology. Not only did this journal publish the paper, but they sent the authors a reviewer report that had graded the paper as excellent. Which is ridiculous because this journal claims to be peer-reviewed. Right now, it's an act of spectacularly willful denial by the entire scientific community to assume that the science system we have is still working properly. Now, when I pitched the idea for this video to my producer Beck, she was like, academic journals? That sounds boring. Why should we care? But the thing is, this stuff really, really matters. When the publication system doesn't work, it means that anti-abortion advocates and gun lobbyists can make up fake data and get it published in legit-sounding journals. I cannot tell you how many times people in the comments section have sent me links to this article about gun control. Now, it looks like a legitimate journal article, doesn't it? But it was written by a lawyer for the National Rifle Association, Don Cates, and a Canadian guy who wrote a book called, and I'm not even joking, Manipulating Public Opinion. The article was published in the Harvard Journal of Law and Public Policy, which sounds legit, but it's actually a student-edited, conservative political magazine. But people read these shitty published studies like they're real science, published in real journals, and then they write articles with headings like Harvard Gun Study, the more guns, the less criminal activity. And then we wonder why we can't get basic gun legislation passed by policymakers. Predatory journals are a really, really big problem for science and for everyone. It means shitty scientists can get published and therefore get promoted. It makes it impossible for the public to be able to work out the truth. It means that drug companies can get drugs passed that should never be passed. It means oil companies can continue to lie about climate change in academic settings. And worst of all, it reduces trust in science. In the words of Kat Arney, Scientists, research funders, and journals are locked in a desperate three-way codependent clusterfuck when nobody is prepared to pull out first for fear of ruining it for everyone else. And if they're not going to do anything about it, then we have to. We can't ignore this problem any longer. Now, this is a problem for everyone, which means everyone is responsible for solving it. How should we regulate these crazy online fake academic journals? Should we make legislation to make sure they have to be peer-reviewed? Or is there another way to address this problem? Let us know your ideas in the comment section below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.